Good morning and welcome to Preparing to Survive and Thrive Home Study Channel with Charlie B. So um, I was sick over New Year's and I did not get to make my pork and sauerkraut. So um, it's gotten the best of me. I'm craving my pork and sauerkraut. So I'm going to go ahead and um, make it. I'm going to tell you about the pot or the utensils I'm using. Of course, I'm going to do it on my wood cook stove since I'm using it to heat in hot water. I'm going to cook this on top of the stove like I did my pot roast. Now this pan is something different. It is the metal pan that is coated in a ceramic. It is called a Colombian. Now this has a really good um, lip here. It sits really good and tight on it. As you can see the lip kind of comes over but it also goes down in the pot. And in order to not burn the pot roast or whatever you're cooking in this on the stove, it has a little bit of an air space between the burner and the pot. As you can see, it has a lip where my hands are going in and it is curved. It is not a flat pot. It literally goes curving. All right, so I'm going to put a pot roast, or not a pot roast, sorry, a pork roast in this in just a minute. I'll bring you right back. Okay, so we're all set up here, and I am going to put a quart of water in this pot. And we're going to discuss the pork roast. This right here for the moment. Hopefully it doesn't fall in. As you can see, we've got nice meat right here on the top of it. And we've got a layer of fat on the bottom of it. A lot of people put the fat down, and um, I don't know why they do that. Some people put the fat up. So what I have done and found what works for me is I put some of my spices. I have to wash off these containers because I just put pork roast all over them. I'm just doing a little bit of garlic and onion powder on this. And then I might add more spices as I go. And I'm also going to be putting this down, the fat side up. And this will help flavor it and sear it once it gets really hot, but I don't think this pan will ever get that hot. I'm also putting the garlic and onion powder on the fat side. Some will be sprinkled over into the water. And I'm going to do a sprig of dried rosemary. So that's all the real spices I'm going to sit on there right now because this is pork and sauerkraut, I want to taste the pork and the sauerkraut. I don't want to just totally overdo it with spices. I like the taste of my sauerkraut, which is not hard to make at all. So we'll be back, we're gonna put the lid on this and we'll get this cooking. Well, guess what? Um, we had to stop and clean out our other wood cook stove, which is also a pellet stove. Um, because the pellet pot kept filling up so much. So it's back down to 130 degrees. And as you can see, the um, pellet stove has been, this has been on that stove for about an hour. And it's not really doing much of anything. Um, barely, barely steaming. Actually, I don't think it was steaming until I brought it out here and set it on this. And this, we, when we had to clean out the other pot, we put the hot coals in this stove threw some more wood in it and got it going faster than normal. So this is going to cook out here for a little bit until my other stove is up to temperature. It might cook out here a lot longer. I, I do like this stove. It is my favorite. I love it. I would hug it and kiss it, but I would end up burnt very badly. Be back. Looks like we need to add a little bit more wood to keep this going. Well, the stove was getting really hot and the um, pork roast was beginning to boil. So I moved it down here as I call my simmer burners. It's, um, and it's been simmering. I've stuck my fork in it a few times. So I'm gonna pull this off. 
You can see it's going down through the fats all melting off of it. It's going down into the bottom. But what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna pull this so that it's the side, and I'm going to flip this over on the other side. I'm gonna get my sprig. Sorry about taking it away, but I'm holding it in a hand. Um, put some sprigs of my oregano, not oregano, sorry about that, my rosemary back up on top. So it kind of got a little brown, as I had said it probably would, right on the bottom, and that's what we wanted it. So get this closed up, let it keep simmering and cooking till it falls apart. We'll be back in a bit. So, and this is the pork roast. It's been cooking for about eight hours. Um, slowly cooking because it's been on the stove and I've been moving it to different parts. And um, now pork loin roast is normally a little bit on the dry side, but that's why you make it with sauerkraut and mashed potatoes and applesauce like we're having tonight. The sauerkraut, all I used was the boar's head. It's in a bag. It's very good. It tastes awesome. And I'm going to be honest, I'm just going to make myself some instant mashed potatoes, which I haven't put the instant packet in yet. And I will show you what it all looks like when I get it done. So you can see how flaky the pork roast is. Completely done, pulls apart very easily. It is tender, but it is, you know, it's pork roast and it's a loin, so it's going to be a little dry. But it looks very pretty. There's my sprig of rosemary. So this is our meal for tonight. We got our pork roast, our boar's head sauerkraut, our mashed potatoes with some butter, and my um, homemade applesauce that I canned. So remember, if you like my content, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be talking to you soon. Charlie B signing out. It's going to be good. Very good.